always serving a fresh cup of daily inspiration, Deanna Hobbs. Today's inspiration is to remind you to expect good things to happen. Life can hit you hard, unexpectedly, and bad things can happen so fast. And after a series of setbacks, disappointments, and hardships, if you're not careful, you'll expect more of the same. But in this encouragement, God is admonishing you to believe Him for better and expect good things to happen because good things are in indeed on the way. Welcome to this year Wednesday, November 27th, 2019 edition of your Daily Cup of Inspiration podcast. My name is Deanna Hobbs, founder of Empowering Everyday Women Ministries, a 501c3 nonprofit organization that distributes free resources all around the world to help you grow in your faith and become everything God has destined you to be. I am bringing you the biggest smiles and the warmest greetings ever live from our headquarters studios in the city of Buffalo, New York. It is the day before Thanksgiving and I am feeling beyond grateful and blessed to have you join me again. I love you so much. Daily Cup family, I got an awesome message from a precious member of our faith community named Priscilla from West Virginia and this is what she wrote. Dear Deanna, I am a human trafficking survivor. I was stolen at 12 years old and I didn't manage to get away until I was 15. By then, after being taken advantage of over and over again by predators, I was deeply scarred and broken. I am 27 years old now and I have a relationship with Jesus Christ and your teachings continue to be a source of joy and hope for me as my healing journey continues. I give God thanks for you constantly because at my lowest points, your encouragements are always there to lift me up. Oh, this touched my heart. Can we get a praise break for Priscilla? Hallelujah, glory to the name of God. Words can't even describe how glad I am for this privilege of ministering to you, Priscilla. May God continue to pour into you and strengthen you on your journey. Daily Cup family, yesterday my team reminded me that we are one week away from Giving Tuesday. I was so excited to share the Word of God with you that I forgot to mention it yesterday altogether. Giving Tuesday is on December 3rd and it is a day of global generosity to support nonprofit organizations like ours. Please help us to continue spreading the gospel worldwide. Every donation is tax deductible and you can give at empoweringeverydaywomen.org. So thank you in advance for that. It is with your support that every single podcast you hear is available as an absolutely free resource on select radio stations, Apple Podcasts, Google Play, your daily cup of inspiration.com, and wherever podcasts are heard. You can also listen on my YouTube channel under my name, Deanna Hobbs, D-I-A-N-N-A-H-O-B-B-S. Also, stay plugged in on social media and get encouragement there. I love to see you at Facebook at Deanna.Hobbs, Twitter at Team Deanna Hobbs, and the ministry Instagram at Empowering Everyday Women. Well, I am so ready to hear from God today, but first a prayer. God, our Father, we are in awe of you and how you're ministering to your people through this podcast. Please send a mighty word and anoint my lips to encourage the heart of the one you sent to press play. I believe you for it. In Jesus' name, amen. Daily Cut family, my youngest son, Caleb, who is 13, came into my bedroom limping this week. And I asked him, well, what happened? He said he had accidentally kicked a weight, one of the dumbbells that was on the floor while he was barefoot. He didn't see it and he kicked it with his toes. Thankfully, nothing is broken and Caleb is a trooper, but his toes are pretty tender. When he told me about what happened to his foot, my mind went racing back to when I was a teenager and I was in Kansas City, Missouri, at a church called Boone Tabernacle with my dad. Our whole family was actually there. We had traveled for a week-long revival that he was conducting. So dad had to preach, and one night, Daily Cup family, service was going on, right? I was in the sanctuary. We were just praising God and rejoicing, and it was wonderful. And this woman got excited, and she was running through the sanctuary, and she crushed 
my toes. I had never felt pain so sharp in all my days. The pain shot up through my toes and then into my leg and I was limping. I couldn't put any pressure on my foot. And then one of the missionaries in the church, when she learned that my toes were hurting on my right foot, she got down on her knees and she prayed. Now, I appreciated the prayer, but she laid her hand on my foot and put pressure on the toes as she prayed. And I wanted to pass out. I eased my foot out of my shoe and it was black, blue, and and green. Long story short, three of my toes had been fractured. So you know, I was in excruciating pain, but I survived, thank the Lord, and I healed just fine, and I lived to tell about it. So I'm grateful that at least Caleb's toes aren't broken like mine were. But you know, things happen in life that you don't expect. You're just going along and bam, you run into some sort of trouble, problem, pressure, obstacles, setback, a tragedy, devastation. It happens so fast. And speaking of things happening fast, I was thinking about Mephibosheth, who the Bible talks about in 2 Samuel 4. I have spoken about him before and God placed him on my heart again this morning. And something unexpected happened to Mephibosheth and it changed his life instantly. Just to quickly give background, Mephibosheth was the son of Jonathan, and Jonathan was King David's best friend, as well as the son of Saul. And Saul was King David's arch rival. Well, one day, Mephibosheth's father, Jonathan, and his granddad, Saul, were killed in battle, both of them. He was just five years old at the time, and he was being taken care of by a nurse. And when this nurse heard the news of their death, scripture says she picked Mephibosheth up, and in all the hustle and bustle, he fell. And he fell so hard, the fall crippled the little boy. The Bible says he was left lame in both feet. And that was tough on him because disabled persons in the Bible were often relegated to a life of isolation and poverty. They couldn't serve in the priesthood according to Leviticus 21 and 18 through 19. And even in the New Testament, we see examples of those who were lame and they were often beggars like the man outside the gate called Beautiful in Acts 3. If you remember, he asked Peter and John for some money when they were going into the temple to pray. So Mephibosheth's life was difficult. But years later, King David, who was now rich and powerful and on the throne, remembered this promise that he had made to show loyalty and kindness to Saul's family. That's when he sought out Mephibosheth. And according to 2 Samuel 9, David gave Mephibosheth his grandfather Saul's full inheritance. Also, David invited him to always be a guest at his table, so Mephibosheth went from an outcast to living like a king. But before this turn of events, he did not expect anything good to happen in his life. And we know that because in 2 Samuel 9 and 8, when David came looking for him, Mephibosheth bowed down and said, what is your servant that you should notice a dead dog like me? Every time I read that, it makes me think about how you useless and unworthy of anything good he felt, and nothing in his circumstances indicated that the king would come to search him out and prepare a table before him. The enemy wants us to feel like nothing, like a dead dog, as Mephibosheth did. But through the word of God, we learn there is a king who also came looking for us, and this king, who is called the son of David, went out of his way to demonstrate his love for you and me. Ephesians 2 and 1 says we were dead in our trespasses and sins and yet Romans 5 and 8 tells us that God commended his love toward us in that while we were yet sinners Christ died for us and he gave us a chance to eat at the king's table. Jesus said in Revelation 3 20, behold I stand at the door and knock if any man hear my voice and open the door I will come into him and will sup with him and he with me. That means we have an open dinner invitation with the king of kings and the lord of lords and there is a special menu it contains the bread of life in john 6 and 35 he said whoever eats this bread will never go hungry and for those who are thirsty also on the menu is living water and jesus said in john 4 and 14 whoever drinks the water i give him will never be thirsty again it is his will that you be lavished with good things God wants you to expect it. Expect good things to happen because there is a king who already came looking for you and he already found you. And still today, he's always looking for ways to bless you. He's 
always looking for ways to show you kindness. He's always looking for ways to provide for you and prove his love for you. That's why you can expect good things to happen. Expect the salvation of your family. Expect to reap. Expect to be elevated. Expect God to favor you. Expect him to heal every wound. Expect him to open the windows of heaven and pour out a blessing you won't have room to receive. Expect him to restore what you lost. All you have to do is stay faithful. Just keep trusting him. Just keep serving him and he will do great things for you. To remind you of this truth, I'm stirring Deuteronomy 28 and 2 in the English Standard Version right into your cup of inspiration which says, and all these blessings shall come upon you and overtake you if you obey the voice of the Lord your God. As you drink down the contents of your cup, expect good things to happen. Expect blessings to come looking for you and chase you down because you belong to God and you have an inheritance. Now let's pray. God, I pray for this my sister, this my brother. Prepare their hearts, oh God, to receive all the favor you have for them and help them expect good things because the blood Christ shed at Calvary has made them worthy. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Your Daily Cup of Inspiration podcast has been brought to you by by empowering everyday women ministries where we help fuel your faith every day for more information log on to www.deannahobbs.com